We are less than a month away from seeing what Tesla has been working on for their robo taxi project. The cyber cab that they've been talking about for a long time seems to finally be coming. It was pushed from August to now October 10th, uh, but hopefully that doesn't move anymore. It seems like it's finally going to happen. But as we get closer to this event, the picture of what we're going to see is starting to take shape a little bit better. There, there really isn't all that much that we know, but looking at what Tesla has been working on, what they've been talking about, I think we can piece together a, a pretty good idea of what to expect. Okay, so by far the biggest news we have seen is this image. It seems, at least at first glance, to be the first image we have of this robo taxi. This was posted by a user over on Reddit and it claims to be this car in complete disguise and totally different than what it actually looks like, but that it is testing on the roads around the Warner Brothers lot. There's a lot there to unpack, but it really paints a pretty big picture. Now, there's a lot of things to keep in mind about this image first. It could just be fake, but it seems as we learn more, that isn't the case. I, I mean, it looks kind of funny. It looks like a Model 3 that is wrapped in yellow duct tape. But as we learn more about this image and how it came to be and what's going on on that Warner Brothers lot, it actually starts to make some sense. Now, assuming that this image is real, what does it tell us? What can we learn from it? Well, I think the biggest thing is that some of those renders that we have seen from Tesla themselves and some of the things that they were working on, mainly from Walter Isaacson when he was working with Elon Musk, those images like this one of Franz in front of a kind of mock-up of what the interior could look like, and then this render of what seems like the same vehicle, but it's just kind of more complete, that looks like it could be something similar to what we might actually get, obviously, some changes here. It seems like there are four wheels instead of the three that are rendered. I wouldn't exactly expect the doors to open that way, but eh, maybe that is a feature. But what it does show is that this is probably sticking to the idea that this is going to be a rather small car that is great for getting around in the city, exactly where you would need a cab or taxi. And then this is probably going to be very affordable for Tesla to make. There were rumors that this would be the $25,000 Tesla. I think a lot of that is probably changing, but it seems it ought at the very least not be a super complex vehicle, but be something small, compact, that is great for getting you around. Now, I mentioned that this photo was taken at Warner Brothers Studio in Burbank, California, which might sound kind of funny, but it actually makes perfect sense. According to Bloomberg, this is actually where Tesla is going to reveal this car. And again, kind of sounds funny, but it makes all the sense in the world. Warner Brothers Studios is a full-blown movie studio. So that means they have fake cities, they have fake roads, they have you know everything you would need to show off a robo-taxi perfectly in a more controlled, environment. So this means people could, you know, take test drives in the Warner Brothers studio and get the idea of how this is going to work without actually needing to be on real roads. But that's not it. Also over on Reddit, we got this photo showing other vehicles Tesla is testing on the Warner Brothers studio, Model 3s and Model Ys that are presumably there for that robo taxi event. But to take it up even another notch and give more credibility over on Twitter, Green the Only has stated and showed that Tesla is gathering map data in the area and mapping it so that they have you know perfect detailed image of what to expect there. And they're not only doing it there, but also a few other areas like the Tesla Diner and areas in the San Francisco Bay Area. So all of this comes together to confirm that we are in fact going to see this at Warner Brothers Studios and that it's going to be a working prototype, not just, you know, a car that we can see. But all of that honestly is not too crazy. It's just the most confirmation we've heard up until now, but we still don't really know that much about what it's going to be. Obviously, we expect it to have the same autopilot software and hardware that we've seen with the Model 3, Model Y, Model S, Model X, all of them. So that is not that interesting. The full self-driving software is something many people have used at this point. So just seeing it in a different vehicle that is made for a taxi, yeah, I don't know, it's not that interesting to me. It makes perfect sense. But for me, what, what I'm interested in is what is the logistics of this actually going to look like? First, when are we actually going to see this on the road? Like for real, when is it going to be operational? And also, what does that mean on the back end? Like, is this a car that you can drive and buy or is it simply a robo taxi? What is the infrastructure on the back end going to look like? We can look at other companies like Waymo and kind of see that this is not that far-fetched of an idea to have a city where 
these cars can work and drive and people can actually use the taxi system, but it doesn't seem to be quite to the level that Tesla is hoping it will be, or at least at the level that Elon Musk has talked about it in the past. Like, I, I don't think this robo taxi is gonna be something where I can summon it from New York and take me all the way to LA. Doesn't seem to be that type of car. So those are all questions that hopefully Tesla will answer and address at the event on October 10th. Uh, but until then, it, it really seems all we don't know, at least from a hardware perspective, is what the design of this thing is gonna be, how big is it going to be, how many people can fit in it, does it have a steering wheel, like all those details. But the fact that a robo taxi is coming, I think makes a lot of sense. We just need to hear the details. Hopefully that comes soon, but it's cool that we finally have our first look that this is in fact coming soon and that it's actually real.